Hello there, everybody. This is WarBBN13 here, and welcome to a game called Alpine Lake. This game is similar to Stardew Valley, but it has a mix of building and running your inn. So let's go ahead and have some fun. And also, the game is, since this game is a demo, it's only limited to about the first five days. So hopefully, you'll be able to do much in the game, but at the same time, who knows? So I just gotta try my best to make sure I don't spend too much energy in order to get as much content as I can for the game, but anyways, let's rock. Okay, um, since it looks like that there's no customization except for randomizing, so since I am a dude, I'm gonna be a ma- uh, no. Uh, definitely not, not a fan of the hat. Oh yeah, I can dig it. Um, let's see, which one? Um, yeah, there you go. That looks like me. It's like I have this little curl thing right here on my hair. So instead of it being on the front, it'll have it like something on the back. And I think I would look cool in aviator glasses, so I think we're gonna go for it. Uh, my character name is Maru, and my in name is going to be, um, it has to be a cozy name. So let's call it, um, hmm, what would be a good name? Ah. Moro. There you go, perfect. Moro, Moro is my person's name, and Cute Memes is going to be my end name. Hello, welcome to Cute Memes, where your memes are going to be so adorable that it would feel like that you are the hanging, that you would feel like that you are a meme of the hanging cat. Hang in there. <laughs> So let's go ahead and go do it. Morrow and cute memes. Oh, seven days. Okay, so I can only guess that when I play this game in the background, it was once five days. But I guess now it's extended to seven days. All right, progress is saved each day. All right. Here we go. Oh, that lot of- Oh! Yay! Boo! Yay! Boo! Yay! <laughs> this is what I was not expecting. I guess I got some work to do. How also, how do I already have mail? Uh, keep them in ESD. Alternatively, you can use the mouse wheel. Okay. Okay, press F, then it will get me the current highlight thing. Yep, okay. Okay, that's space to open the mail. Dad, congratulations on buying your first house. Hopefully, it's as beautiful as the photos. Here's a housewarming gift. Yeah, thanks, Dad. Thank you very much for the money and letting me know about the photo being nice. But oh well, we got work to do. Okay, congratulations on buying your first house. I hope it's as beautiful as well. Yeah. Okay, will the owner of this property please report it to the town council immediately? Thank you, the town council. Alright. Okay, your first task is to open with a J. There's a pretty threatening letter in the mail from the town council. I should possibly go check that first. Okay. So it looks like since we're going to be um, spending seven days of the game, I may as well make sure... Oh. Hi there, my name is Jeff. I'm the new park ranger here. I hope to be able to 
able to answer your most basic inquiries. I never thought I'd end up in a, as a park ranger, but it can turn out to be quite the nature enthusiast. Now, if I could just figure out how this compass works. Okay, nice. We met our first person. Okay, let's go. New area. Town. Oh, that's a doggy. Yeah, let's try our best not to waste a second. Alpine Lake. Hot spot discovered, Town Square. You have discovered a town. You have discovered a hot spot. Okay, hot spots are special areas where your guests can visit. If you're lucky, they may even bring you back something special. Basically, some food, maybe. Ah, there's the mayor. How's it going, mayor? Hello, I am Eugene Cole. I'm the head of the town council. Basically, the mayor. Uh, what can I do for you? Well, it's about time. I was wondering who finally showed up. It seems that your property is the only one in town zoned to be an inn. Reviving this town is my top priority and restoring its inn status is vital if this town is to succeed. Which I guess it would make sense. If people are going to be traveling abroad, they even need a place to sleep. So we gotta make an inn. Alright. What will you say? Will you rebuild your inn? Yes. Glad to hear it. It's settled in. Great! There's a lot to learn about running an inn. In all due time. Here's a list of town council of commerce members. Perhaps they can give you some advice. Once you've met everyone, I'll start your new business license and you can get you up and running with your license applications. Let me know if you have any trouble finding anyone. Oh, where can I sleep? Oh, that's right, your property lacks accommodations. Here, take the sleeping bag. It should get you by until you can build yourself a room. Try not to stay up too late. Running an inn takes energy. Okay. Okay, here's a person to meet. Hi, I'm Rudy. My dad's the biggest inspiration. He taught me everything I know about building and fixing things. I hope one day I can be as good as he is. Hi, I'm Carlos. Um, if I if it were a month ago, I'd call myself the local carpenter. As but as bodies start to fail you, as a, do as do the job titles. Um, I run this hardware store as well. I own you own that plot of land outside of town, right? Well, it can be that can't be. There aren't any livable stretches on that land. Do you even know how to build? Listen, uh, I feel kind of bad for you. Take this stuff. Maybe we can help each other out. There are three elements that makes up a building. Foundation, walls, and doors. First, they need to clear some space. You know how to chop tools to chop down trees and break down rocks? Take this extra axe and pickaxe you got. Once you've got some free space, place the foundation. Then build walls and, and doors on top. A room needs a, minimizing, a minimum of two by three blocks. But even that's quite a tiny room. It can barely it will barely fit a bed, so make sure you give yourself some space. Okay, a good size starting room is three by three. It's a little it's a little too much for you to carry right now, so I'll deliver it to your mailbox. Okay, I would help you, but Ruby would kill me if she caught me pushing myself in my condition. You need a sledgehammer to fix any mistakes. Be careful you won't get the items back. Maybe just, maybe some materials. I can handle this. I like your attitude. Come and see me when you're first structure in the foundation and walls and doors. Alright. Okay, over here. We got a lady for food, I think. Nice to meet you. I'm Alyssa. I might be a classy trained chef from the finest culinary school in Paris, but here I am, owner of this roadside diner. Okay. Now let's go down here and see... Uh, 
Birch, my favorite kind of wood. Hi. Oh, I'm Birch. You should, should you be talking to me? Can I go inside? Yes, I can. Oh, yo, I'm Vic. You look confused. You need something? I'm trying to start an inn. Oof. If you live where I think you live, that place is a dump. Good luck. Do you have any advice? I would start by making it less dumpy. Grow some flowers. Fresh crops. Anything you would be an improvement, really. Sounds doable. Listen, it's fine. It's not that hard. Till the soil with a hoe, plant some seeds, and maybe water the plants when you're not busy. And you'll see you'll be fine. Yes. Try over some sunflowers. Here are three. Here and I'll show you how to live in up a room. Take this bunch of junk. You're gonna need it. Okay, so basically we can have like a flower pot and put it in on a nightstand in one of our rooms. Nice. We're gonna decorate the frick out of that hotel rooms. Okay, so now that we gotta look for Oriel. Uh, where is Oriel? Must be over here. Hey, Jewel. Hey, young Yin, are you sure? Let's see. Are you sure you're talking to the right person? My name is Jules. I don't get many visitors. Petey here was a social one. Hey there, Pip. Bark. Let me pet you. There we go. Thumbnail for the win. Right there. Game of the year right there. <laughs> okay. Alright, gotta find this person named Oriel, which I guess might be up here. Ah. This must be it. Antique shop. Okay. Hello, my name is Oreo. I moved here years ago, but I stayed for the atmosphere. Okay, so the antique, so I guess we go to him if we want to buy some furniture, I guess. Okay. Nice. Alright, so where's Eugene? Eugene must be inside here. I think Eugene. Excellent. I see you met the most met the, the important business owner of this town. Now, just because we desperately need tourists doesn't mean you get free reign to do whatever you want. In order for tourism to be stable, we need to do things by the book. When guests stay at your inn, you'll build a reputation which will allow you to apply for new licenses. Which I guess is basically like retail store simulator. Uh, the higher the levels, the more likely that you'll be able to purchase new licenses which would get you fancier things. For as for now, as a new business, you'll start with enough licenses for two guest rooms. Take this clipboard and, you, and it'll help you assign rooms and keep an eye on the general health of your inn. Press M to start assigning rooms. Also remember to separate your rooms with walls before assigning them. Rules are rules. And also another thing before you go, Carlos may have mentioned it already, but there is a man who lives in the forest. You should make his acquaintance. His name is Paul. Alright. So I guess that's going to be our next mission. To visit a person named Paul. Okay, well I guess while I am here, we're going to want is to perhaps, um, let's see. Step one, clear some land. Step two, lay foundation, build walls, place doors. Okay, let's go, let's go ahead and we will use the sledgehammer. Hover the sledgehammer and the structures you want to destroy. I want to destroy this. Destroy all of it. Destroy it all. As we're gonna have to rebuild this place back up. Back to snuff.
Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and... Okay, let's see. Let's go ahead and chop down this tree. Okay, um, I guess we're going to need a way to cut bushes. Okay, we'll come back to you at some point, um, since we need a way to cut bushes. So let's go check this way out real quick. Okay, you shouldn't go that way. Alright. I guess and that's the way out of town. New area, visitor center. New hotspot, picnic area. Okay, let's go and visit the um, visitor center. Oh. Okay, but still, we gotta go over here anyway, because... It seems that this place is a lot like the museums that, that are like in Stardew Valley and stuff. <laughs> Private property, do not enter. Thank you for your cooperation, Jeff. Okay, so I'm guessing that's what I need to do. Entering the forest. Can I enter Alpine Trail? No. Why not? Uh, I just don't think it's a good idea at the moment. You see, there's a bit of a situation. It's also kind of a mess. It's not suitable for people. Fine. It may or may not be incredibly dangerous. But I'll have to close the entire Alpine Trail because of it. Can I help? Um, okay. If you think it's safe. If you can help get rid of that junk, I'll consider opening it back up. Here, grab this machete thing. It should help clear things clear things easy. Alright, so alright. Okay, so we can use tab to switch inventory lines, I guess. Okay. Okay, it's two something right now. Let's go ahead and get rid of those thorns right now. Now since we got a machete, we'll be able to get rid of those bushes around our place. You have entered a biome. There's a special connection between plants and animals here. Just because you see a mushroom doesn't mean you should pick it up. Maybe a beetle will show up if you leave it there long enough. Okay, there is a... There we go. Let's go ahead and destroy some of these deer thorns. Thorny branch. Nice, okay. Oh, what's that? Looks like there's music coming from that cave. I wonder what's going on down there. Maybe this place is like the equivalent of the mines for us to gather up materials and stuff. Okay, there is this. Yeah, four. Five. Okay, there is six. Okay, let's go. We still gotta find Paul. I remembered in the beginning it said that Paul lived in some place near here. It looks like we can't go up that way. Can I go around? Nope, okay. Alright, this way. Again, I think it could be up here. 
Yep, there it is, Paul's cabin. Hey, well, you found my secret hideaway. I'm Paul. Well, I left to be left alone. Oops, no. Hey, they're in the caves. I hear music coming from the caves. Do you know what's going on down there? I've been wondering the same. Nobody should be in there. It's very off limits. You know what? I'll help you take down the barrier. And if you don't mind, take a look around. Let me know what you find. Okay. Okay, is this sign a fast travel thing? No. Alright, so it looks like we're getting low on energy and that we don't really have money to buy food. So I guess that we're going to need is to head back home and we sleep. But first of all, we need to set up our inn. Since now we got ourselves a bush slicing machete. And also we gotta go ahead and visit Jeff. I don't know if the place is gonna be closed. Yeah, let's go visit Jeff. Okay, Jeff must have been leaving. The place must be closing soon. Okay. Okay, we gotta come back the next day. Okay, but for right now, let's go ahead and head back to our place and we will make that in. Okay, so for now, we're just going to place the bike here. Clear out these bushes. Okay, um, and since we don't really have enough... S <clears throat> okay, so... Let's go get started. Okay, flooring. Press, okay, use the mouse button or F to place the first corner, and okay. So, let's see. I want to place the foundation, like, maybe over here. Okay, I definitely do not want it to be too big. Um, uh, no. I need it to be, like, right here. Right there, and we start from there. That'll do, that'll do for now. Yeah, just for now. Yes, confirm placement. Yes. Okay, and then we're gonna want is, then we're gonna want a door. Okay, uh, first of all, uh, yeah, let's see. I think we're going to need to build a wall first. There you go, we need to build a wall. And then we can place doors. There we go, then... We should be able to place doors right here. There we go! Okay, so that is good, and then I guess the next thing we're going to have to clear... Right back, no. We're going to make our first room here. So for now, let's go ahead and just head inside. We'll take a nap. Yeah, we're going to place you like right here for now. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's just use whatever energy that we have to... Clear up these things. There you go. There you go. Perfect. Okay, so the tutorial did say that a 3x3 three three would be a decent sized room. Yeah, it's going to have to do. We're going to have to make it a 3x3. Three three. So, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Okay, we will move the bed. 
Okay, so for now, 3x3 three three is going to be a good enough room. Confirm placement, yes. And then we're going to build our walls. And then our door for our first room is going to be right over here. Nice! Okay! Uh, let's see, can I move you? No. Oh, okay. Alright, it's bedtime. Okay, so until I find out how to move the bed... Okay, gonna go next. No guests today, don't you worry. Okay, great. Let's see if we got some mail. Okay, I enjoyed your visit. It was nice to meet someone with energy. Stop by again, I have a favor to ask. Not right now. Uh, we got to we got to get our end going. Yeah, let's clear out this stuff. Yeah, let's clear out this space. Okay, that will do. Okay, this will do. Our main lobby is going to be here, and our rooms are going to be here and there. Alright. Okay, so let's see. Three by three. Okay, I make a door right here. Okay, looking good, looking good. All right, we got our first two rooms done. And of course, at some point, we will add more furniture, but for right now, due to the materials that it needs to take, and also we don't really have the ability to craft things right now in order for us to get more um, planks and stuff, so we're just gonna deal with what we have. All right, so far it's looking pretty darn good. Okay, and we're gonna spruce it up a bit with some sunflowers. So let's go ahead Yeah, why not? Let's place it here. We'll put, we'll put up a window here at some point and then Our guests would be like looking outside the window and say, ooh, what lovely sunflowers you're growing here Yeah, we're gonna do it like that okay, We're gonna grow it. Oops There you go. Perfect. Okay, so I guess we don't have to fill out the watering can. Alright. Okay. Now then, let's go ahead and we're going to go to Jeff. Yeah, we're going to go to Jeff right now. Cleanup crew. Thank you for clearing that place up. I'll go check it out tonight. If it is safe again, I'll open it to the public. Thank you very much, Jeff, which would definitely help out our inn. Because now knowing that people would have access to the pond. Which would definitely help out our inn. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and go on over to Carlos. We need to get, we need to get the ability to craft a bed. Because how in the world can our guests sleep without a bed? Pity party. That was fast. 
It was easy. I don't know much about running an inn, but I think you need furniture. How about I give you a discount on this crafting table? I don't have much money. Well, don't say I haven't. Don't say I never helped you. Just take it. How could I ever repay you? Maybe you can make some deliveries for me while I recover from my injuries. I could do that. Good to hear. This box is for Paul. He lives in the Alpine Trail. I'm not sure if the park is open to the visitors yet. It is now. I helped Jeff clean it up. Now, aren't you helpful? Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and go back home. We're going to craft ourselves some... We're going to go ahead and see about crafting ourselves some beds. Because how in the world can a guest sleep without a bed? Yeah, this is going to be our main lobby. At some point, I will move our crafting table and a bed to somewhere else. But for right now, we're just using this um, as a way for us to go around the rooms pretty quickly. Okay, a simple bed. Okay, so I need some more plant fibers. Okay. Uh, minus plus one comfort, plus two function, and... Plus two relaxing. Alright. Okay, so now that we have our machete, we should be able... You know, so some plant fibers. Now I should be able to craft up the simple bed. Now that we shall place the bed in our room, so... Um... Looks like right there, that looks good. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have to make the beds. Okay. Alright, now then, let's go ahead. we got to make another bed. Okay, let's get rid of these weeds. Or plant fibers. Okay. Okay, nice. Simple bed. I need to rotate you. Can I rotate? Oh, Q? Yeah, like that. Right like that. Perfect. Okay, um, let's see. Do I need anything else? I want my custom I want my guests to be comfy. Okay, so as I guess once as we get more um licenses and stuff like that, the more fancy we'll make the place. So for right now, it looks like we don't exactly have a, we do not exactly have windows right now. But, which I guess it might be a good thing to have our people with privacy. All right. Okay, press space on a fully walled room and assign how, okay, hover over a room, see its status, and check for missing items. For example, a guest bedroom, which will require Flooring, walls, a door, and a bed. Alright. So, press space. Okay, so... I am going to put you down for a, for a guest room. Okay. So... Uh, the guest room... Uh, since we made our name in... Since we named our inn Cute Memes, so we're gonna call it I Dropped My Hot Pocket. I got scared! I dropped my hot pocket! Okay, and this one is gonna be a guest room. And this one is going to be, um,. Let's see, what would this one be? Uh, what would this name be? Um, hmm.
um, hang in there. The hang in there. The cat meme. A cat hanging on by hanging on by a tree. Hang in there. There you go. Alright. Now then let's see, do I have to water the sunflowers? Yeah, I don't think I need to water the sunflowers. Alright. Okay, we did it. Okay, Mr. Mayor, we did it. We got our first two rooms out of our inn. What can I do for you? I made two guest rooms. Very good. For now, I will take your word for it, but I'll pay a visit soon to make sure everything is in order. With that said, the town has agreed to pitch in on a little gift. A beautifully crafted sign and a welcome desk. It is vital uh, for you to have a welcome desk in order to check guests in. Now, the sign will inform the potential guests whenever you're open for business. Feel free to close when you aren't able to service new guests. You can pick it up from Oriole. Come and see me when you're ready to apply for new licenses. Okay, uh, can I apply for new licenses, please? Let me expand in. Let me take a look at... Okay, um... Kitchen? Okay, a merchant license allows you to sell items on your property. Okay, um... Okay, we don't have any reputation points. We can't get any of these. But I think we're going to be fine with two guest rooms right now, but we definitely want to have a kitchen. Because how in the world are we supposed to be in inn if we can't be, have a way to feed our guests? So, we're definitely going to want that. Alright. Let's go talk to Oreo. Thank goodness, a customer. I've been waiting almost two weeks since I since I made a single sale. Oh, you're only here to say hi? Uh, of course you are. Let me guess, you're new in town and you want to know if I can help whatever I need to help with. Eugene said you had a sign for me? Oh, you're Moro. I mailed you the sign already. It should be there by now. Do you need anything else? Um, I need furniture. Yes, you do. This is an antique furniture store. It couldn't be more appropriate place. This is actually kind of exciting. Tell you what, my friend Dale is coming to town, and I just can't have him stay with me. Take this furniture and please show them a decent time. Okay, he should be able to be easy to please. Dale is a lovely chap. Fine and come to me when he's when he goes back home. Okay, can I save the game? Okay, I'm guessing I can only save at sleeping. Alright. Okay, so... Let's see, we're waiting up on that. Complete Dale's visit. Do we actually got any furniture? A chest, a decoration, fits tons of stuff. Okay, that would be a good idea for the inn. People can um, stash their belongings there. So, let's go ahead and stash it in the inn. Yeah, which would be a good idea to have a chest in a room so people can secure their stuff. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and... Put up a chest inside this room. Right there. There we go. Alright. Welcome to the neighborhood. Place an interactive design to officially open for business. 
Okay, so we're definitely going to need is to... Okay, I want to move the in open sign, like maybe over here. Okay, as for the crafting table, it's no longer going to be a thing to have it inside our place. So for now, until I come up with a private room, that's going to be for me. So we're just going to place you right here. And of course, the bed, we're going to be out there in the sleeping bag outside. Yeah, let's put the sleeping bag like maybe right over here, right by the crafting table. And then now we'll add a welcome desk right over here. And we're going to rotate you like maybe right over there. Perfect. And then we'll have our lobby right here. And decorated and stuff. And it's going to be sweet. All right. Okay, uh, do we actually got time to go to go to Paul? Um, I think I do. All right, let's go go to Paul. The place should not be. Oh, we gotta go ahead and check out that cave. What's this? Blueprint. Gabbled roof. Okay, sure, man. We got a freaking gabbled roof. Okay, maybe at some point we're going to check inside that cave. But not right now. We got to go, go visit Paul. Okay. Oh, those are ants. Oh, man, that is so cool. Okay, ants going up in that ant hill, collect that, collect that leaf, to get inside their ant mound. The queen will definitely be happy. Alright, Paul. I got what you need. What are you doing here? I have a package for Paul. Thanks. Now that you're here, you might as well tell me who you are. I am the old inn property. So you're a moral. I wasn't planning on meeting you, but here you are. I am the anonymous seller who, who you purchased that property from. You sold me a rundown house. I had to completely demolish and start over. Well, did you read the fine print? It clearly stated this property comes with no livable structures. Well, do you have some at least some advice for me? No. How about I sign you up for an innkeeper's newsletter? That sounds helpful. Okay, cool. I'll talk to my friend. Now, if you excuse me, I've got some chores to do. You have been signed up for the Innkeeper Weekly, the absolute hottest publication for what's cool in the world of inn ownership. Keep an eye on your mailbox for tips, tricks, and keeping your guests happy as little clams. Nice. Okay, okay let's go ahead and head back home. Wooden window. Oh, that is perfect. That is so perfect. Now all my guests will be able to see through the window. A fireplace. Oh, that is perfect for the main... That will be perfect for the lobby of our inn. That will have a fireplace to keep the entire place warm. Okay, that is great. That is great news. Okay, alrighty then. Uh, let me see what I could do to make some windows. Oh heck yeah, we're gonna make we're gonna make two windows. Yeah, we're gonna make a window. Yeah, we're gonna put up a window like right over here. That's perfect. Yes, and right over there. Nice. Okay, let me check the.
Okay, it's still three dollars. So of course we got a chest. Okay, that's good. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and go to sleep. As a matter of fact, it's not sleeping time yet. Um, I should definitely build up some more windows. I want to add windows here and here. And let me see about building up that fireplace. Okay, I need gravel. So I guess we gotta go. I guess we do, in fact, have to go into the mine. And I guess to get some gravel. Yeah. Okay, so. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna place the fireplace, like, over here. Here in the middle, but we'll see if I can expand the rooms to be able to add. Um, oh, there you go, it's almost bedtime. All right, let's go to sleep. Next. No guess today. I dropped my hot pocket has improved by one tier and hanging there has improved to tier one. Foraging is level one, crafting is level one. Next. Okay, it looks like let's go and check the mail. Okay, um, thank you for helping cleaning up Alpine Meadow. I mean, thank you for helping clean up. You seem pretty dependable. I'll open up the Alpine Meadow right away, and I'm going to need more help if you got time. Jeff, and he got me some kind of... Oh! Okay, so, okay, so since he cleaned up the place, um, since he cleaned up the place, the Alpine Meadow became a hot spot. Okay. Cool. Um, hey, long time no see. Um, I heard that you were forced to open up an inn, and I want to check it out. I'll come visit soon. I need some new materials for my next documentary. Stella. Well then, everybody, it looks like this is going to be it for today's episode on this game. Um, it looks like we still got like four, five, six, seven. We still got four more days to have fun with this game. So for right now, let's go get a screenshot for this for the thumbnail. There you go. Yeah, there we go. Maybe one more. Yeah, maybe right here. There we go. Okay, everybody, this is gonna be it. Have a good day now.